and welcome to Chart of the Day Cafe for Tuesday, June 26, 2018. Just want to read our disclaimer quickly. Trading stocks is a high level of risk and viewers should complete their own due diligence on any stock or underlying that they intend to own. 100% of the content of this video and communique is intended for journalistic and educational purposes only. This video and all indicators, strategies, and articles herein should not be construed as investment advice, not making any recommendations always for your further homework. Good morning, Sue here. Hope you had a great weekend. And wow, what a Monday that was. Lots of selling in the market yesterday. I'm filming this at about 8 a.m. on Tuesday morning, and the futures are modestly lower again this morning, so we will see what transpires. But with that, let's get into today's video. If you know me, you know I always start my videos off with a look at the Russell Index, which I use as my proxy for the markets overall. So we're looking at the IWM, which is the ETF that represents the Russell 2000, and I like to step back and take a look at it on a five-year monthly time frame. We're looking at a bear chart, bear monthly chart. The only indic indicator on here is the blue line, which is the eight-day EMA that I use as my guide. You can see the candle for the month of June starting to create a wick at the top. We've got four trading days left in the month and the quarter, so this will be a very interesting um, monthly candle to see. Worth noting, the candle for the month of May had a bullish orientation after a consecutive series of candles uh, that were choppy and sideways. So I will put my drawings back on, and we can see this black diagonal line is the most important one on the chart to me because it held price in on the Russell uh, from the latter part of 2016 all throughout the early part of 17, then it had a break up and above, stayed up and above until February of this year where it broke below and then it had those consecutive candles of chop, chop, chop. And then the candle for the month of May was the first one in a long time that cleared my black diagonal line and got us into this area here. So I'm going to zoom in to the area here that we want to concentrate on. The pink line is my short-term area of support resistance. The orange is medium, the blue is long-term. Kind of ignoring these for now and focusing in on this area. So we're going to move it away from the five-year monthly to the one-year weekly. And as you can see, price on the weekly is up and over the eight-day EMA. But we had a wick uh, the prior week. Started to Price started to soften, and with yesterday's price action, we're getting a red candle on the week show so far, but it's only Tuesday, so we'll see what happens in this area. I just like to have that orientation and uh, the look of the monthly, weekly, and daily charts in the back of my mind. So up and over the eight day. Now let's go take a look at the daily. Daily is below the eight day, so we will not put a new chart forward for our watch list today because we don't want to put new charts forward in a falling market environment. Will it find support here? Maybe. We've got earnings season kicking off again soon. Uh, anything can happen, but with price trading below the eight day EMA and the future soft this morning, we're just going to be extra cautious and careful. I will highlight for you this morning one past chart of the day cafe pick should the markets start to pick up here a little bit and resume the uptrend it would be one that i would be focusing on and taking a look at and the chart that i wanted to flag for you this morning is johnson controls international ticker symbol jci this is an old chart of the day cafe pick that i'm just reminding you of should the markets start to pick up a little bit here before i get into the chart let me uh, fill you in on the new scores for this company. Johnson Controls, by the way, if you're not familiar with it, is a big diversified multinational company involved in many business segments, building, uh, ventilation, auto parts. You can take a look and tuck into it a little bit more. But uh, the main things that I focus on are the value and growth. So I am all about the scores underneath the charts I feature. And Johnson Controls has a really nice high value score, along with a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 23%, a current PE of 12.01, and a dividend yield currently of 3.03%. So all those metrics I love. We're looking at the 10-year monthly. I know that's a long way to go back, but I just wanted to give you perspective on where the stock is sitting right here, right now. So 10-year monthly chart, uh, 
uptrend here throughout this period of time, came in, found a area of support here in the latter part of 2016, lifted, and it's come into that area again here. Again, this is the big picture view, monthly chart, but I like uh, the lift that I saw here. Should we start to see lift in this area, it's making a higher high than it did in this area. So now I'm going to zoom it away from the five-year monthly to the one-year weekly. And as you can see, it's been dancing around this area, my orange line of support resistance for a lot of plenty of weeks right now. Um, it can only hang around this area for so long. Should the market start to pick up here with those scores and that dividend, I would think that Johnson Controls would start to get some lift. So I will be keeping an eye on this one in this area to see if that starts to occur. So that's the weekly look. Now I'm going to move it into the daily. Okay, here's my orange line of support resistance. You can see the bounce bounce. And even on that ugly day yesterday, it had a somewhat bullish candle. So like to see that. That's why I'm featuring it for you here today. The risk reward in this area is really nice and tight. I know everyone has their own way of doing things. As a reminder, I'm going to zoom it into the three month. I like to see the three cross the eight. So I'm all about waiting until the pink line crosses through the blue and takes price higher. So I will be monitoring Johnson Controls. It's not there yet, but should the market start to get some lift here, this one looks interesting to me. As a quick addendum and reminder, Johnson Controls was our featured Chart of the Day Cafe pick back here in December, December 5th, 2017. Came into this area of support, had a beautiful rise from there, but then crossed below the blue, which makes it eliminated from my list and uh, I'm going to add it again here. So just forgot to mention where I had mentioned uh, Johnson Controls before. So I, it's all about price lifting up and off this base and into the green circle area, getting that uh, moving average cross, at least for me and my way of doing things. Along with the chart I'm looking at, I also like to take a look at the sector that it's in. So for that, we're looking at XLI, which is the ETF for the industrial space, five-year monthly chart. You can see on the five-year monthly in an uptrend, consolidating over the last several months. Last month was kind of interesting, and this is where we are right here right now. But for the most part, in an uptrend and at an area of possible support right in here. I also like to take a look at seasonality, and for that I go to, whoops, a daisy, wrong one. I go to Equity Clock, and this is an, a great site. I always mention Equity Clock. I think it's terrific. I just love the site. So we're looking at the seasonal chart for Johnson Controls. You can see that in June, July, it kind of tops out a little bit here and has a period of seasonal uh, softness until the middle of October. It's a good data point to know about. No guarantee this happens again this year. For me, uh, price prevails. So I see this beautiful um, chart at support with, with the scores I look for. If it lifts off this area, seasonality is moved to the side a little bit in my thinking. But we want to cover all bases. It's a great data point to know about. I also spin over to Finviz, and I want to see if I've got analyst support for my uh, pick. And you can see that it's, a, for the most part, it's had uh, several downgrades, so I won't check that box. But again, like seasonality, for me, price prevails. Price and scores, I should say. It's all about the scores as well. So to quickly recap, I started today's video with a look at the Russell Index, and we note that overall the Russell Index, the IWM, is up and over the 8-day EMA on only the weekly chart now. Normally I say weekly and daily, but it lost the daily. It's trading below the 8-day on the daily. It's only weekly. If we want to note weakness is coming in. Will that weakness continue? I don't know. So I'm not checking that box. I'm going to trade according to what the market tells me to do. But should it start to lift here, JCI is one that I think is interesting to take a look at. We looked at the 10-year chart for Johnson Controls. It's at an area of possible support and price strength, emphasis on possible. We looked at the sector that it's in, the ETF XLI for the industrials. Five-year chart, uptrending, and it's been consolidating for several months, but it's at an area of identifiable support. Will it lift here? We'll see. 
Johnson Controls has a, a really good uh, value score. These are highlighted because they're absolutely critical for me. It's got a great growth score with a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 23%. Current dividend yield of 3.03%. It does not have that 3 and 8 EMA cross I look for, so that's not checked. Seasonality, I'll let you decide whether you want to check it or not. Uh, we looked at that chart. Analyst support, I will. it's not checked because it's had some recent downgrades. But I wanted to mention in December, they authorized... Um, a huge stock buyback program. So that's always interesting to know about. I'm going to include an article about that. Uh, here's the headline uh, with today's video. If you go to the show notes, you'll see. Can't get it into my screen, but I will include it with the video. Um, it's got a current PE of 12.01, and it looks as though earnings are on July 26. Thank you for watching today's video. As a reminder, they go out every Tuesday and Thursday morning. Have a great next couple of days, and see you Thursday.